नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मोहम्मद जीशान पाकिस्तान हियर इन माई लोकल एरिया मॉस्क आर ओपन बट दे आर नॉट फॉलोइंग प्रिकॉशनरी मेजर्स रिगार्डिंग कोविड नाइन्टीन my family members are insisting me to pray at home what should i do the question poses by a brother in pakistan that in his locality the mosques are open but his family members fear that the mosques are not maintaining the precautionary method that should be done for the covid-19 disease and they are asking him not to attend the prayers in the mosque as far as if the mosques are open and the government authority feels that there is no problem in mosque being open if it's open it is compulsory for a muslim male that he should offer his five times salah in congregation in the mosque there is no excuse if the mosques are closed by the government where they think it is dangerous and then if you pray at home in jamaat it is accepted but if the mosques are open you have no excuse not to go for prayers just because your family members are concerned if your family members are concerned what you can do you can take the extra precautionary methods if you feel that you may get infected you take your precaution number 1 see to it that you carry your own sajada you carry your own prayer mat in india pakistan is called a musalla you carry your own musalla your own prayer mat your own sajada number 1 because that is the most important because when people pray on the common carpet or the prayer mat of the mosque some other person comes and prays there and if a person infected prays earlier and in your sujood in your sajda you are there for at least 15 20 30 seconds at that time if you if your nose is on the same place where the nose of infected person was there there are high chances you can get infected so number one precaution is that you carry your own sajda carry your own musalla carry your own prayer mat number 2 see to it that you wear a face mask number 3 please do not scratch your face or your nose or your mouth there are high chances you may infect yourself if your hand has touched certain infection number 4 carry a hand sanitizer with you so in case of emergency you can sanitize your hand Number five, see to it that you do wudu at home. Don't do in the mosque. Don't go to the washroom in the mosque. Go to the washroom at your home. That is number fifth. Number sixth is you try and minimize your time spent in the mosque. You can pray your sunnah salah before the first salah at your home, and that is recommended by a prophet. Number eight, you can pray the sunnah salah after the first salah. coming back at home you need not pray the sunnah salah before the fard salah and after the fard salah in the mosque so that number 9 you minimize your time spent in the mosque number 10 see to it you don't shake hand with anyone in the mosque see to it that you do not stay close to a person for long taking all these precautions for the women it's not compulsory for them to go to the mosque so they can pray at home for the elderly people above the age of 65 if they have certain difficulties and health is not good if they say that i don't want to go to the mosque is accepted because we have come from medical science that people of elderly ages their chances of when contacted when contacted with the disease their chances of dying is much higher as compared to a younger person so if the mosque are open there's no excuse for you not to go to the mosque our beloved prophet said that tie your camel and trust in god tie your camel you take the precautions i have mentioned and trust in allah because if allah wants to protect you no one no disease can harm you that's what our beloved prophet said there is no adwa there is no contagious disease meaning there is no contagious diseases then you can acquire without the permission of allah if only allah wills will you get the disease If every, anyone wants, everyone in the world wants, and if Allah wants to protect you, you'll get protected. And if anyone wants to save you, all the doctors in the world, and if Allah wants to see to it that you get the diseases, no one can protect you. So what we have to do: follow the advice of the Prophet, tie your camel, and trust in God. Take precautions, but if the mosques are open, it is compulsory for a Muslim male that he should go and pray in Jamaat in the mosque.